So for us, uh, Hutchinson Engineering, what does change mean? Well, three of the words that I've picked are planning, leading, and sustaining. And whenever I joined the business, we were very heavily reliant on the local agricultural sector, and I very quickly realised that that needed to change if we wanted to sustain the business. So we looked at some different sectors, and I suppose one of the biggest ones, um, we had a chance encounter in 1997 of working alongside Wright Bus, and after doing some successful quotations, we started working with them, and we've worked with them ever since, and they still remain our biggest customer today. Um, one of the key milestones was that in 1999, we purchased our first laser cutting uh, uh, piece of equipment, and to put that into some perspective, um, I don't think my poor father has got over it yet, but we had a, a turnover at that stage of 500,000, and the machine was 350,000, so it really was make or break. Um, I wasn't maybe so bothered because it wasn't my money, I was a bit, a bit naive at that time, but um, and we have really worked successfully with Wright Bus over the last 15 years or so. We've changed our whole business model to suit their kitting and delivery requirements. And I suppose assessing their needs has been something that has been key and we've constantly had to change. Um, another key customer for us is James Letty Design. For those of you who don't know, they're um, a local entrepreneurial company who have done really well. Um, they produce high-end mobility equipment for handicapped children. And really, I suppose theirs is a bit of a bizarre one because at a stage they were a competitor. They actually supplied Wright Bus with some components at the start, but they took a strategic decision to move away from that. And really, with uh, they decided to outsource. And over the last four or five years, we have developed a strategic partnership with them. Um, I suppose in the early days, um, what I noticed the most was that a lot of these companies we had a synergy with them because they were local family-run companies as well, like us, and they had some of the same issues. So we found that that, that worked well. Um, so I suppose in our in our industry, like a lot today, technology is key. Um, since our first major capital investment in 1999, we've always invested in the latest equipment, but we've always tried to get equipment with capabilities beyond our immediate requirements. So the first machine we bought had capability to run 24 hours a day, although we didn't need it. But this really means that we can be flexible and we can suit the requirements of our customers really easily. And we're now at the forefront of sheet metal laser processing in Northern Ireland. Another area that we've noticed really over the last few years, uh, a lot of clients that we dealt with, um, either through economic downturn, have either scaled down their in-house design, or in fact some of them haven't got the in-house design capability at all. And we were being asked more and more to give our input and our advice into design. So to help solve this, we formed a sister company called H360, where we use design using 3D modeling and our engineering and manufacturing expertise to provide an overall solution. Um, one of the most successful um, experiences we've had to date would be Murunidrol. They're a successful exporter of <coughs> agricultural grassland equipment based in Balamoni. In 2009, their MD, Sam Moore, decided to outsource the manufacture of his product. And after some discussion and some provision of samples, we were awarded the contract. That has now evolved into us actually designing his new drills for him, manufacturing him, and then leaving him to assemble um, and export and sell. So obviously to, uh, to do all this you need uh, a really good and, and loyal workforce around you, um, not only to be successful but also to utilise the technology that we have because we did realise that the technology is, is nothing without good people to run it and I suppose people are key to the overall success of any organisation. Um, we've worked very, very hard to give our employees a clear structure and a progression plan so that everyone knows their position within the organisation. We have introduced a training plan and most importantly we have set up team leaders which has been a defining achievement in the past year. As a company we've just been awarded Investors and in People Bronze which is a great achievement and a formal recognition of the hard work and determination of all our employees. So obviously the, the first two steps, the plan and lead stages, don't complete the loop. And uh, we, we feel very strongly that sustainability is obviously a, a, a key part of it. Um, throughout the change process, communication is vital. The, the guys are already talking about communication. And whether that be with your suppliers, uh, with the bank, whether that be with customers or employees, um, I think you must bring people with you along your journey. Um, for us, customer feedback is, is vitally important, and it has to be. 
um, and we now have a formal feedback process where we constantly review and react, whether good or bad.